Yes, hello everyone. The uh, International Programs is proud to say that we have 213 students from 29 countries enrolled at Clark College for fall term. And one of our bright shining stars this year is the student who's going to speak before you tonight, uh, Takunda Masike from Zimbabwe. This is a student who is one of those rare students who has very carefully and thoughtfully planned out his educational career, as he will explain to you, uh, for many years. And at such a young age, he is on a very direct path towards uh, his ambitious goals. Takunda has been a peer mentor for international programs, which means he's been helping new international students at orientation and during their first term at Clark College to get uh, climatized to our college and, and culture here. Um, he's fully joined the campus community, not only in his academic program, as he will discuss, but he can also be seen going back and forth across campus uh, to work at the child care center. When asked recently what advice he would give students who come to Clark College and face culture shock, he said to get involved, which is exactly what he's been doing. Takunda is the second person in his family to come to Clark College, but he's the first to speak before the Board of Trustees. Hopefully he'll get a little credit from his older brother for doing that. So it's my great pleasure to introduce to you Takunda Masike. Takunda. speaking about my career and academic goals. I am studying to become a biomedical engineer. It is a relatively new field which combines engineering expertise with medicine and systems in the health sector. Knowledge and skills are developed and, and applied to find so and solve problems in the medical sector, ultimately to improve chances of survival for patients. According to the Institute of Medicine, $750 billion was wasted in the medical field in 2012. Now, this is enough to, to fund all of the post-secondary uh, institutions in the U.S. for one and a half years. Wow. So, this is a lot of money. A large part of this wastage is due to factors like policy implications, fraud, and administrative costs. But, but however, a large chunk of this figure um, goes down the drain due to inefficiencies in technology. Moreover, operational costs can be driven down by replacing traditional medical case systems with new cutting-edge technology. A normal MRI scan will cost $2,000, just for one scan. Now, imagine how much it will cost for someone who's got a brain condition that has to be constantly checked uh, and scanned. Issues like these are the reason why Professor Chito um, and engineering faculty and I are embarking on our project to develop a pre-existing um, uh, biological scanning system and hopefully uh, we can drive down the cost and uh, develop it further. I'm very fortunate and grateful that I can be part of this project that's, that's got a really phenomenal pur uh, purpose. It's remarkable how I can, I can do this project of this nature so early in my career here at Clark College. A big part of my career goals is to be involved in drug delivery research one day. Now, um, the normal um, and the traditional drug delivery system is the um, absorption of a drug, say after taking it by the mouth. This system <coughs> is highly ineffective. Internationally, billions of dollars are wasted due to poor um, bioavailability. Drugs are administered and we pretty much hope that the drug will reach the intended tissue. 
there are so many interactions that go in, in our bodies that just render the drug useless. And um, to increase the chances that the drug actually does work, it is normally overdosed and hence side effects occur. There's a much more effective um, drug delivery system under research that is um, nanotechnology um, using nanomedicine. The goal of a targeted drug delivery system is to prolong, localize, and have a protected um, interaction with, with just the, the disease tissue. Nanoengineering will especially be effective for treating cancer where only the cancerous cells are targeted and the normal cells um, are not damaged. There's a really fine line when we use chemotherapy between actually killing the patient and treating the patient. And now with, with nanomedicine, we can target just the cancerous cells because on the cancer cells, there are specific molecules that we can play around and engineer and we can target just those specifically. However, um, this industry, obviously, it's, it's still quite expensive. There are nano um, medicines out there, but it's, it's really uh, expensive to develop them. But however, with uh, continued uh, learning and technology, we can find ways to, to improve it and reduce the cost. Education has always been important to my family and me. My, my great-grandfather was a college-educated theologian. This trend of college education has continued right to my immediate family. Consequently, a high reverence for education had, uh, has been something that has been placed on me since birth. It's been hard growing up in a family that expects nothing but the best and a family that has a really high standard uh, of academics. However, this has molded me uh, personally and uh, academically. My family has been very supportive. I came to Clark College after the recommendation of my brother, who also came to Clark. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I've always had a rigid belief that all higher learning institutions do not devote time to the student and you are pretty much on your own. I'm happy to say Clark College proved me wrong and debunked my preconceived notions. Clark College is undeniably devoted to, to student success at all levels in and out the classroom. It is evident with the number of effective and engaged students. Any student can be assured success with the stellar student support services offered yet. Services like the tutoring center have freely been offered to me where I can go there with any concepts that I find challenging, especially in calculus, and they really help me out. It is amazing how every instructor I have come across is wholeheartedly willing to help every student. Knowing that everyone at this institution is committed to my success is in itself motivating. The more I advance in my career and education here at Clark College, the more I understand that education is not merely a ticket to a career. Education is a ticket to change, um, to, to change the, the, uh, the course of the future in your specific career. Being an international student can be very daunting. Transitioning to a whole new culture and education system is difficult. This is why I decided to be a peer mentor. I wanted new international students to have a smooth transition and to know that they are not alone and for, uh, familiarize them with the resources that have helped me succeed here at Park College. I would like to make special mention of the International Programs Office. The International Programs Office has been very comforting and welcoming. It's a place that I know I can always go there for, for anything, even just to chat about how the court is going. They have been pivotal and instrumental in my time here at Clark College. In conclusion, I want to point out that here at Clark College, every student can be certain of a bright future wherever this extraordinary education takes you. Thank you to everyone that makes Clark College what it is. Lastly, I want to thank Jody um, Shulnack, my international peer mentor, and Bryce Rube for helping me with my speech. Thank you. Term, like after someone says something from that, like in hip hop, and it's like, 
and then the mic drops. Like you just <laughs> drop the mic. Like there's really nothing else that could be said. You were so profound and so inspiring and so encouraging. Thank you so much for sharing and being here. I just can't wait to see your impact on this college. Phenomenal. Is, is, is nano drugs? Are those drugs? Are they pills, or is it delivered some other way to the target? No, uh, it's basically like we engineer nanomaterial, and then we put drugs inside of it. So what uh, what uh, these nanomaterial do is, is that um, they will not be detected by your um, normal defense system, and this is really small. Just to give you like uh, a visual, is that um, the properties of gravity don't even matter at this level. There are other um, properties that will go into play, but something like gravity that usually has a profound effect on everything that is mass, but on nano level, uh, gravity uh, is just out of the, the window. And what, what we do is uh, we try and match up those nano material with a specific um, tissue or cell that you want to target. And given that um, it's got uh, special properties of, of molecules that we can target. So we look forward to that success. Yeah, yeah. it's fantastic. Yeah. What caused you to get interested in biomechanical? Yeah. Oh yeah, I've I've been doing um, a lot of research within the field. Initially, it started because I love uh, biology and chemistry and how we can mimic those systems in our body with technology and perhaps um, solve issues in medicine. And throughout all that research, this is where um my mind is focused right now. Uh, my background is engineering, and I know a number of engineers who became interested in bioengineering. Right. But I'm not sure I've met someone who came from the biological side and went toward the engineering. Right. Uh, it's a very refreshing way of looking at it, because you're very clear about what you describe. Yeah. Uh, very exciting about what the future portends. Okay. Thank you. Just remember us. Yeah. <laughs> Just always remember that you're a penguin. That's right. <laughs> okay, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very, very much.